What's good everybody? Chris here again and Chris goes outdoors. We're outside today with a brand new piece of gear we're going to take a look at. When I got back from the AT, I went around with scoping out the ultralight gear makers as well as big manufacturers, see what was new, what's gone on since I've been on the trail. And I was on Gossamer Gear's website and I saw this listed as a new tent option from them. Gossamer Gear has a one-person tent called The One. Right here I have the two-person tent. The two. As someone with a YouTube channel named Chris Goes Outdoors, I appreciate the simple naming scheme. So we're going to open this thing up, we're going to take a look at it, see what it has in store, we're going to set it up, tell you my initial impressions on it. For full disclosure, I was perusing around the YouTubes, noticed that there was no video on this tent on YouTube at all. So I reached out to Gossamer Gear, asking them if they would allow me to do a video on it, and they sent this to me free of charge. I am supposed to mail it back to them, so full disclosure, just want people to know I did not personally pay for this, but am considering it if I do enjoy it. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Got my trekking poles. You will need two trekking poles or two sticks of some sort to set the tent up. The recommended height is 125 centimeters for each pole, inches, I don't know, metric. We'll, we'll put it in the video so that you can see. I did read the instructions briefly on Gossamer Gear's website, but I don't know, that's no fun. Set it up on our own, see what we can do. So we do have some guy lines here. Hopefully they're just additional guy lines because I really hope I don't have to tie these things on. We'll see though. Unfurl this thing and it is all one piece. It is a one piece tent. The Gossamer Gear logo is right here. Get these poles out of the way quick. Flip it out here. That worked much, much better than anticipated. <laughs> I'm going to stake out all four corners first and then see if we can set up the trekking poles in the doors that way. We'll see what happens. All right, so we got the four corners staked out. I'll put the back trekking pole in right now. So I read you can put it in through the door like this and then there is a clip attached to the floor of the tent that you can put your trekking pole through. So we've attached the trekking pole to the floor there, and we'll flip this up on over. We'll stake this out. We'll do the same on the other side. And again, I'll show you a close up of that little attachment system for the flooring. In all honesty, you probably don't need to use it. It doesn't look like you need to use it. It's probably there to give you optimal floor space. It looks pretty good here. I'm going to try to pull the ends taut. We'll see what happens. So there you have it. We're all taut, we're good to go. They did supply additional guidelines here, I assume to use in high wind situations or if you decide you need them. And you can see there are various points to hook those up to. I'm not going to do that right now because we're not in a high wind situation. So pop the doors open, see what we can see. The doors are held by Velcro, three places where there are little pieces of the Velcro. And we got the zipper right here. So we'll roll up this door right here. So you can see right here, it's almost like a, uh, a U-shaped door, I guess you'd call it. It's not quite a rainbow, not quite a D. I'd call it a U. You can unzip that and get in right through there. For the door system here, you can unclip this door as well and make sure that's nice and tight. So I'll roll that one up, give you a full look inside of the tent. And where this is a two person tent, you can actually open the doors on the other side as well. All right, so we're inside, got a good amount of room, a very good amount of room. As somebody who's used to a one person shelter, I feel like anything two person, however, would feel pretty awesome. Could definitely, definitely fit two people easily in here. Definitely enough room for two sleeping pads. I got enough room back there. I can sit up, though you might not be able to see. I can sit up perfectly fine in here and have full space, full movement. Wow. So it is, it's pretty nice. The zipper's right here. Feel very sturdy, so that's nice. Some of the lighter weight zippers are not that good. You pull them, they don't really move. You have to hold the bug netting, make sure that they move. These are moving very, very nice. A little mesh pocket here on the side. It's pretty cool. You can store some stuff, maybe a phone or something if you need. You got this right here so you could wrap 
the bug netting around the trekking pole, give that a little more stability. And that'll help also when you're pulling this up and down. So pretty cool. There is another door, the exact same door on the other side. Plenty of room in here. There's also a clothesline on top of here, an integrated clothesline in your tent. I got to admit that is pretty cool. So I was going to do that with my other tent, but never got around to it. So it's, uh, it's actually kind of nice to see that in here. So I dig it. Give you a look around some other parts of the tent. I'll try to give you a better look inside the tent as well. So right there, you can see the corner of the tent staked out and it has the line lock adapter on there. So you can tighten them and loosen them as needed without pulling the stake out. Right there, you can see a couple more guy out points on the side of the tent. Right here, you can see the door system all closed up on this side. Right here is how the door is clipped into place. Right up on the door here, we got Velcro lining the whole way up. Three little pieces to keep the doors closed. So inside of the tent laying down and my feet right here have plenty of room up and down. This right here is a little look from the inside of the tent at how the trekking pole is situated. And this is a closer look at the integrated clothesline that runs along the roof of the tent. All right, so that's gonna do it. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Glad we could take a look at the Gossamer Gear, the two. Nice little tent, very easy setup. Takes a couple stakes, six stakes minimum. Really quick setup though. So stake out the four sides, pop in the trekking poles, line up the doors and you're essentially good to go. I like easy, no fuss setups. And as someone who just finished the Avalation Trail with a non-freestanding tent, I have to admit I'm leaning more and more toward the non-freestanding tents. It's nice not to have to carry poles around other than the trekking poles that you're already using. So it's nice and roomy on the inside. It's got nice bug netting around the entire tent. I like that it's one piece. That's pretty cool. The doors I'm okay with. I think realistically it'd be great to have a rainbow shaped door, but I can understand why they would go with this route. It's easier to zipper one hand. I know rainbow doors from my own experience are a little more difficult to zipper and unzip with one hand. I enjoy the amount of vestibule space on this tent. It's huge compared to some other tents I have used. At the ends of the tents, there's no mesh in between. It's all one piece. From another tent I had, I had experienced in heavy, heavy rain. Rain would actually pop up from the ground and into my tent sometimes if the water was pooling a little. So I think that will obviously solve the problem as there's no space in between. I love the little clothesline inside. I think that's a nice little touch. All in all, it just seems like a pretty cool tent. Relatively decent priced for what you get. A nice two person tent under two pounds. Right now currently listed at $400. It may be a little steep for some, but I think for ultralight gear, it's it's a pretty decently priced piece of gear. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll ship it back to them, we'll see. If I do keep it, I will make sure to mention it down in the description at some point so you can keep an eye down there. And yeah, until next time, I hope you enjoyed the initial impression video. If you did, drop it a like, greatly appreciate it, comment, subscribe. Tons of more videos coming in the future and appreciate you watching, sticking around this long. So take care, we'll see you in the next one.